Hi, I'm Ron Polk, designer of the Polk Workbench in the Total Station, and this is my new laser jam. Actually, this is my old laser jam. Now, my second laser jam, I had the first original one. It's the first product I got from FastCap many moons ago. And then they updated it and improved it. So I picked up this one that uh, breaks into two pieces and there's a third piece that goes in the middle for real tall ceilings. It's a pretty simple concept. You just uh, wedge it to the ceiling and it uses their sort of third hand design. You just crank it till it wedges and then you mount your laser right on top of this and then you move your laser up and down. I use this exclusively for setting cabinets. What I mean is, is I always use it when I'm setting cabinets. I use it for other things as well, for doing uh, stair rails and for uh, sometimes for door situations and window situations. Uh, when I'm doing trim over multiple windows around a room and I want the trim to line up. Uh, so I used to use it a lot for crown molding. Um, I haven't done that as much. I've got a different method, which I did a series of videos on that. But what I want to show you today is the new laser jam that I just picked up. So FastCap has had this laser jam concept out for quite some time, a couple of versions, and they've gone in a radically different direction. First off, the case that it comes in is greatly improved. The previous case for the other one was much thicker. I didn't even hang on to it, I got rid of it. Uh, it was too big for me to try to fit into my trailer or in my truck. This one though, they've scaled with with feedback from guys in the field saying, hey, it was too big, they, they scaled it down and made it uh, a much nicer case and it carries everything you need for your laser work. The other big change they made was they went away from the other laser jam pole and came up with a variation on their third hand. Uh, I use the third hands for my dust walls, for, uh, for lo you know, lots of applications. But this one they've changed and it's a, instead of uh, being a pole that you push a button and slide it apart, in that design uh, one pole has to be narrower than the other and to uh, work with the laser jam it was better to have a consistent diameter through and through. So they have the pole with the foot on it, which so it has the ball in the socket for the foot and then it has the um, squeeze out clamp to uh, wedge it up to the ceiling and in most cases I'd put that down so that I could reach it if it's up kind of high and I'm trying to reach it's harder so I put that down and squeeze it up. They also give you two additional poles. These poles just go in between so I think it goes up to about 15 feet so even in a real high situation if you need to get the laser way up uh, you can do that or if you just need to have the the uh, foot reach uh, all the way to the ceiling, you can do that in a real tall room. And again, even if it's up that high, you just reach down to uh, wedge it in place. And then uh, the biggest change and, and the uh, probably the primary reason I decided to upgrade to this one was they added a tripod. Now, I just finished a job and I'll be showing some videos from that job. Uh, where I actually used this, it's the first job I used it on, and um, my helper Jeremy and I, uh, we were really impressed with our abilities to move it around the room and use it. But essentially it's just a tripod that accepts by popping this foot off, and I'm doing this up high, normally I'd set it on the floor, but the camera's kind of up, so I'll just do it this way. But it just drops into there, and then adjust the feet. and clamp it down. And now I don't need to um, wedge it to the ceiling. I can move it around the room really quickly. And we found that to be very handy on this job we just finished up. Now, what about the laser? So you've got the pole, you've got the tripod, it's set up, you can move it around. I could make it taller if I needed to. I've got all of that stuff. The other thing they did was create this magnetic base that will just clip right onto, upside down, clip right onto the pole. And then you can set it on the pole anywhere you want and it'll go, you know, all the way down to floor level. And again, if I had this taller, I could push it up much higher. Typically when I'm setting cabinets, the bases are at about 34 and a half to 35. And then the uppers, I set it uh, on the base of the uppers, I set the horizontal line. But this is where this part, the laser, 
doesn't come with the laser setup. This is theirs. This is Fast Cap's latest AV2. And um, I've had two of their other lasers, you know, laser technology, the lights get better and uh, they just get better and better. So this is my third one. I just picked this one up. Uh, again, if you've already got a laser, you can use it with this. There's no, uh, you know, it's not specifically for the fast cap laser. But all you have to do is on the bottom of your laser, there'll be a quarter 20 thread and you just screw it on. And then, and then on this one, there's a hard switch and this switch uh, locks the pendulum and then also turns it on. And I'll turn it away from the camera so I won't blind you. And so that's the horizontal line. If you can see that on my hand, I'm looking at it on the wall across the room. Typically how I work is I'll set up my laser. I have a mark on the wall where the top of my bases are gonna go or the bottom of my uppers. I set my uppers first, so I start there. Um, but with this, I would just put it right on my line that I had, would have done on the wall with the tape measure. And I'd set this, and then I could set my uppers right to it. And of course, uh, with this laser, any laser, it's also got a vertical. So I use, the, uh, I use the vertical to line up uppers and lowers if I've got, uh, you know, a, uh, an area where there's an upper above a, a where a range is going, uh, there'll be cabinets on either side and opening, so I make sure those get lined up perfectly, refrigerator openings and cabinets. So I do use a vertical line for that. And then also I use it for, like I mentioned, for putting on horizontal trims when I'm matching around a room for windows and that kind of thing. So it it's, can be used for plumb for that situation as well. There's a lot of great uses for a laser and has been for, for a long time in the uh, construction field. In fact, I can't imagine being able to do uh, finish work, particularly without a laser set in cabinets, it's, it's, it's a must. But with this setup, uh, I can then move it around the room. And I did this, and I'll show this in the videos in the future once I get them edited, where I had a bank of cabinets on, on the wall and then I had an island, and I was able to just move this around and then I just turned it around and reset it on the bases I had already set and then just rolled the, the laser back toward the island. And so not only did I get the island uh, level front to back and long ways so that it was perfect regardless of the floor, I shimmed to it, but I was also able to make sure that the countertops would be exactly the same height, just exactly. So it really helped you transfer marks around the room. And again, that's laser general, not specific to this. I just wanted to show you that this new pole I find to be uh, the best setup I've had, and I found it to, you know, very handy on the last job. One last thing on this is if you um, have to do micro adjustments, if I, got, if I got a wall, a mark on the wall and it's a 34, and a half or 35 and I need to move it just a little bit all I have to do is put my thumb on this again it's a magnet holding to the pole and all I have to do is just it'll incrementally move and then once I get it to where I want I can leave it that'll work fine and that's what I did on this job but it does have a lock so that if I want to really lock it in and make sure it doesn't move then now I can't move it at all and then a final thing on their case, uh, again, they don't uh, include a laser with this, but uh, your, the laser you already have, or if you, if you pick up their laser, they provide a block in here of their Kazian foam. It's another product they sell for lighting drawers and for tool storage, but they provide that and you can just take your laser and put it on that block. And then with their tools, they've got a marker, a long nose marker. You can just kind of trace it out and then with uh, the Kazian knife, you can just carve out that foam and it's in layers and it just peels up real easy. I haven't done it yet, but, uh, and then this will drop right in. And then in this nice compact case, you have your complete laser setup. Just grab it out of your truck or van or trailer, pull it on the job and you have all you need. Well, if you like these tool tip videos, be sure to subscribe, but more importantly, share them with others. Also, if you want a set of workbench plans to build yourself one of my workbenches, uh, in this video will be a link, click on it. As soon as you place your order, you'll get an email. At the bottom of that email, there's a link, click on it, download your PDF plans, and have at building your new workbench. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.